It's snowing! I have the opposite of whatever seasonal depression is because the moment it starts snowing outside, I come alive. I am a different person. I am ready to take on the day. If I could live somewhere that it snowed more, I would. I would. Oh, I forgot my ring today. The moment I saw the snow, I knew we were vlogging. We were vlogging, why? Because I am happy. Yesterday, I was not. I was looking up hotels, ready to try and escape my life for 24 hours. That sounds so sketchy. That's, I mean it in a very normal way. But then I woke up today and the universe was like, you're welcome, Elise. I knew you needed it, you're welcome. God, I love the snow. Packed my lunch like a toddler, sausage, eggs and cheese. The eggs are not cooked yet, obviously. And then one of my favorite snacks is these like Costco protein bars with peanut butter on the top of it and then chocolate chips. It's like a kudos bar. It's amazing. And then a bag to sterilize my breast pump part. Can I say breast pump on the internet? Is YouTube gonna demonetize me now? Maybe we'll have to bleep it out. What's funny is you can just bleep things out and it really sounds like you're saying something horrible. You can just be like, I hope that you go because I and you are my See? What did I say? You just think I hope that you go have a great day because I love you and you are my best friend. I don't know what the point of that was. I just I'm happy. I'm happy, guys. what it is about the snow that just makes me so happy. I just feel so complete as a person. It's just magic. I realized today I have not like blow dried my hair since before Oliver was born, which is almost six months now. I would really like to just have one day where I feel like I look good. For my soul, I would like to do that. I'm so happy. It's a good day. Uh, now I'm second guessing it. Maybe I'll just get my hair wet and do it curly. What's going on? Why am I all of a sudden so anxious? It's like I said I was happy and my brain's like, are you sure? Do you want to worry about something? Because we could go there. Why are you doing that to me? I was so happy like five seconds ago. What's happening? No, stop that. I'm healed. No, we're gonna do my hair. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. Hair is clean. You know what's crazy? It's like the second I said out loud that I was happy, my brain could not handle that. And it immediately just like turned on me. What if I did Vogue's questions today? I've always wanted to do the like, um, Vogue 73 questions at home with Elise my I've always wanted to do that. Why don't I just do it myself. I don't have to wait for them to ask me to do it. I'll just do it. <gasps> that, wait, then we have to restart the video. Hold on. Hey, Bo, thanks for stopping by. Hey, Bo, thanks for, oh, one second. I hit the door. Hey, Bo, thanks for stopping by. No, wait, they say their name. How do they do it? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Okay, they don't, they're just always walking somewhere, but I don't, I'm alone, so how do I do that? Hey Vogue, thank you for coming by. What is your favorite time of day? I'd say my favorite time of day is the morning. Like, <laughs> I really have to commit to this. I either have to really commit or not. Early, early morning, like 5 a.m. Do they give a lot of explanations or do they just go for it? I feel like they just give like two word answers. What's the worst thing about being in Los Angeles? The small and my enemies. Yeah, they're quick. I'm not quick though. That's the thing, I'm, I'm very long. I'd say the morning time, probably like four to 5 a.m. What's your biggest weakness? Not reading directions and being impatient. And your biggest strength? Probably my tenacity. I do not give up. What's your biggest learning experience? I don't do well with questions like this where they're like absolutes. What's one learning experience that you've had recently? I made a lot of business decisions while I was pregnant and I regret that a lot. I wish I would have just like paused and taken a beat. What makes you angry? Uh, people being inconsiderate of other people's time or being late. That really grinds my gears. I'm not good at this. What's one vice you wish you could give up? Snacking really late before bed. It never makes me feel amazing, but I do it every single night. What are you most excited about these days? Vlogging. I have been having so much fun making long form content. Like I can be the most myself with you guys. Tell me the best compliment you've ever received. 
The first time that Jonas, the first time that Jonas called me brave, I burst into tears. I don't think I had ever heard anybody call me brave before, and it was really a powerful thing for somebody to like speak into me. It was really cool. We're not gonna talk about the bald spot, all right? We're not gonna talk about it. Okay, she's giving volume. Wow. Is it still there? Don't tell me. I don't, it's none of my business. Next question. When are you most inspired? I'm most inspired when I have wide open spaces, but if I have like a deadline or a timeline that I'm working on, absolutely, it's over. Game over, it's done. This is fun, are you having fun? I'm having fun. I'm having fun, are you having fun? I'm having fun. Great, moving on, sweet or savory? Sweet, a thousand percent sweet. Speaking of, I'm gonna go make my snack now. What's something that makes you smile? <laughs> food? <laughs> no, food, food makes me smile. I grew up with a very horrible relationship to food. The fact that I can just operate in my daily life without thinking twice about what I put in my body and what it's doing in there is crazy to me. I could have never imagined I would have a relationship with food that is healthy. So yeah, it makes me smile, yeah. Tell me something that people don't know about you. Why are answering these questions so hard? Like, who am I? Who am I? I had a, a very emotional attachment to Converse when I was um, in high school, college, that 10 years of my life, to where I would wear them down so much there would be holes on the bottom of the soles and on the sides. It was like a money thing, but also like a, they had memories and I didn't want to give them up. So I've learned to protect my knees a bit more because I'm not getting any younger and my knees sound like sand. When do you feel most like yourself? When I have alone time, for sure. Three things you can't live without, go. My camera right now, my water bottle, which I left at home today, so I'm a liar. And coffee, because it helps me poop. I'm gonna change back into my sweatshirt because I feel safer wearing it. That's better. Wow, this lighting, it really is magical. <laughs> window seat or aisle seat? I used to be a window seat when I was younger, but then I realized you can pee easier if you sit in the aisle. You don't have to ask anyone to move. Except, the one exception, flying into LaGuardia Airport, sit on the left side of the plane on the window seat. You will never, you'll never see a more beautiful sight. It's so stunning. Do you have a favorite TV character? Nick from New Girl. I have been told by so many people that I remind people of Nick from New Girl and I see it 100%. Do you prefer leather or lace? Leather or lace? Neither. Just the softest and most structured cotton I could get. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? I can't stop playing with my hair, sorry. I just wanna like, this is how it gets dirty so fast. Most adventurous thing I've ever done in my life is probably moving to Australia with like zero context of what I was doing and asking no questions, just there's a boy that I like that went there. Okay, let's move and live there for three years. Try and describe yourself in three words. Determined, curious slash confused, and I'd say empathetic. The other day there was a park bench that was far away from the other park benches and I started crying because I was like, do you think that that park bench is alone and feels lonely and left out because it's chained to the ground and it can't get to the other ones? And that's really sad. Do you have a favorite piece of clothing that you own in your closet? Uh, these shorts. I own about 14 pairs of them. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but once I find an article of clothing that I love, it will literally be the only thing that I wear and it becomes my uniform. I have purchased, well, my husband purchased like 14 sets of, of these shorts from Nike and I wear them every single day. I have a daytime version and then I have a nighttime version that I sleep in. The lined ones are daytime and the unlined ones are nighttime. And I don't have to think about what I wear and there's just a stack in my closet of all of them and I wear a t-shirt and then these shorts. And then I wear tube socks. I have a bunch of these from Amazon in different colors and then these shoes every single day. I wanna be the person that has really cool clothes but I also hate making decisions. All this work just to look like George Washington. <laughs> What's inspiring you right now? I kind of already said it, but making vlogs. Oh, I don't know why that sounds so silly to me trying to say that out loud, but for so long, I, f I fully, fully believed that I was only worth listening to if I had like a very short, three minute maximum video on like TikTok or Instagram. And I thought nobody would want anything of me that wasn't that. Learning how to express myself in long form and share more of myself with you that's a more authentic version of me. It's a very powerful thing for me because it's allowing me to allow you to accept me 
as me. I don't know how people on Vogue do things while they're answering these questions. I wish I could ask you these questions. What? It no, that's too- well, could you answer them all in a comment? <laughs> that would be too long of a comment. You'd probably run out of characters. Is there a character limit for YouTube? If there isn't, you should answer them in the comments so I can get to know you too. That would be really fun. Also a lot of work, so don't don't feel like you have to. But if you have the time, that would be fun. That's a lot to ask. You don't have to do that. But if you wanted to, you could. I didn't bring my water bottle, so I have to chug water today or else I'm just never gonna get enough water in my body. And I, the only reason I'm drinking so much water is because I'm feeding a human with my body and that depletes me. <laughs> Time. Just kidding. What's a good piece of advice that you've received in your life? I had a therapist when I was in college. They basically helped me get over my fear of doing things that I thought I would like have a panic attack while doing. And they just taught me that I could do things while having a panic attack. And they coached me through the act of like completing a task I was nervous to complete and showing myself that even through an active panic attack, I could do it. So like learning how to do it scared and realizing like being scared doesn't stop me from doing it. It's not ideal. I don't wanna go into things that are new or something that I'm doing and be like terrified and have a panic attack. That's obviously not an ideal situation, but teaching myself that physically I am able to do it at the same time as being scared. Two things can be true at one time. So uh, yeah, that was, that was really cool. Do you prefer diamonds or pearls? If I had to pick, Pearls. I am not a jewelry person though. And the first thing you notice about people? I don't know, you just get a vibe. You know when you just like get a vibe about somebody? I can get it almost immediately. I don't know if it's like pattern recognition or I was like really responsible for everybody else's emotions around me as a child. I can just, I get, I get vibes real fast from people. I feel like I have to go take a picture of the tree really quick before I pump. If it melted, I'd be so mad at myself that I didn't take that picture. Should we have a Mia Thermopolis moment after she wears a hat to school and then has her hair straight and nobody knows that she has her hair straight until she takes her hat off in class? Okay, ready? Wait. <laughs> Oh, I just showered. I'm gonna pump, so I'll see you in a little bit. Pump is complete. Do you have any regrets in life? The one thing I wish I probably would have done and would advise other people to do is live alone a little bit longer than you think you want to. What's the music that you're currently listening to? I can't listen to music and do things at the same time. So I don't really listen to a lot of music, which sounds crazy because I love music so much, but I am more of like a podcast listener. Closet Confessions, listen to it. It's a great podcast. What's your card game of choice? I love Uno. Oh, I love Uno. And a guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure? Reality TV. Except I don't feel guilty about it, so that's just a pleasure. What makes you feel most accomplished? Finishing a task. I'm very, very obsessive. If I am interrupted with a task, not like a task in terms of like washing my hands or cleaning out the fridge, things like that, but like a process, like developing film was a process and having to cut my time in half and then go finish the other half of it another day. I am not good at that. How do you start your day? I start my day by being woken up by my sons, then getting a cup of coffee, taking my medication, then pumping. What's your favorite holiday? Can I be really honest with you right now? Yes. I don't like Christmas because it's too much pressure. Oh, I already knew that. I don't like birthdays either because I just don't like the gifts thing. I'm not good at that. You don't have to convince me. I'm right there with you. I don't like it. It's too much pressure. I hate opening things in front of people. I'm very bad at holidays that require gifts. So it's not a holiday, but a day that's special that I love is the Super Bowl because I love food so much. Do you prefer looks or brains? I'd say brains. Who would you like to switch lives with? It wouldn't be a person, it would be a dog. Someone's golden retriever that they love so much and they work from home and get to cuddle them all day. When I'm very depressed, I just think about the fact that all I wanna do is be a dog. What's one thing you've always wanted to try? One thing I've always wanted to try but have been too afraid to try is stand up. Mike Birbiglia thinks I can do it, so if he believes in me, I should believe in me too. What's your most recent purchase? Gloves to handle my negatives with, microfiber pads to clean the negatives, Oops. Also microfiber pads to clean the negatives because I realized I put both of them in my cart and I checked out before taking one out, so. What's something you wish you knew at 19? If I have to chase somebody down and 
beg them to love me. They are not worth my time. I look like I'm about to commit a crime. <laughs> or clean jewelry. What do you always carry in your purse with you? Well, let's see. Here's my purse. I'm gonna take these off. AirPods, always have my AirPods charged up. Migraine medication, lip gloss, and chapstick. Digital camera, film camera, medicine, more migraine medicine. Uh, an empty film canister so that if I ever finish my film, I can roll it up and put it in my canister. This bag is deceivingly large. And then I keep a little dongle. That is the legitimate term for this, is a dongle. If you didn't live in Nebraska, where would you live? And I could move anywhere, I would live in Chicago. I love Chicago so much. I feel like one day I'm just gonna move there for sure. When you're in a bad mood, do you want company or do you wanna be left alone? I hate feeling like I'm in a bad mood and I'm gonna make someone else be in a bad mood. I prefer to be completely alone. Are you gonna judge me if I take a photo of myself with my film camera? Mm, a little, but it's okay. Is that embarrassing? It depends, do you feel embarrassed? What's the point of doing your hair if you can't That was weird. I didn't feel like it myself. What's the best vacation you've ever been on? It's gonna sound redundant because I already talked about Chicago, but Chicago. 2019, New Year's Eve, going into 2020, Jonas and I took a vacation to Chicago and met up with our friends there who are from Canada and they met us there. Best week I have had in a really long time. In a city you've always wanted to travel to? Rome. Is Rome a city? It is a city, yes. What is something that you never travel without? A fan. I made the mistake of putting a fan on my face when I was like 10 years old while I was sleeping because I was hot and I haven't been able to sleep without it since. Favorite food? I mean, I make eggs pretty much every day. If we're going out, like if I'm ordering something out, sushi. At home, steak. And favorite snack? Well, right now it's the protein bar with peanut butter and chocolate chips on it. What's a movie that makes you cry? A lot of movies make me cry. Fair enough. Are you confrontational? <laughs> no. What's a talent that you always wish you had? I wish I could paint. I love painting so much and I'm so bad at it. I can copy. I can't like create something out of my, I can't think of an apple and be like, I'm gonna draw an apple. Is there an exercise you enjoy? Walking, 100%. Me and my friends used to go on these epic walks. We would just leave and, and be gone for hours and just walk in one direction, two hours. It was amazing. I had absolutely no fear when I was a kid. Now I'm just terrified to leave my house because I don't want to be kidnapped. I can't believe I'm alive, honestly. I really need to do my dishes, please don't look. What's a band you love listening to? I love Ben Rector. I love the band Camino. Do you wish you had any superpowers? Superpower I wish I had was flying. I would love to just be able to be like, no, that's not teleporting. I don't know what that was. I want to teleport, just be like, like that, but in a much more impressive distance. Think of all the money you could save on traveling. What's something that you don't want to be doing in 10 years? That's a good question. Thank you. Being lonely? Oh. That sounds so sad. Well, I just don't feel like I have any friends. The cutest thing on earth. I mean, I'm biased, but my sons, when they make each other laugh. And so far, what's the best thing that's happened to you this year? We hired a family assistant. I'm afraid to talk to people. Like my social anxiety is so bad. And I just kept saying, man, I wish I could just clone you, Jonas. Like you can read my mind, but he is a stay at home dad and takes care of our two boys. And so that's the priority. So we've just been really wrestling with how to assist me in my day to day and what I do and not take him away from the boys. So we ended up hiring a family assistant, basically. So he can be the one that corresponds with her mostly, but she's like assisting me, but he can assist me in, assist in her assisting me. <laughs> she has been a gift to our family. Oh, I forgot hot sauce at home. Okay. What is your favorite cocktail? Easy. Uh, vodka soda with lemon and lime. I usually get a kettle one if they have it. If not, I get a Tito's. Fun story. So I went to a dinner and it was my first like big meeting in person in this new life that I have. But I sat down and we were at this like lunch and they were ordering cocktails. So I was like, okay, I guess I can order one too. You know, you just like want to feel the vibe out. You don't want to be the only one and the first one that orders a cocktail and everyone else is like, I'll have an Earl Grey tea. It's like, I didn't read this room correctly. <laughs> and so they ordered and then I ordered and I was like, I'll have a well vodka soda with lemon and lime in it.
I've always done that because I have never had enough money to do anything other than that. The lady at the table across from me was like, what do you want a hangover? Um, she'll take a kettle one. I'll take a kettle one. Thank you. And unfortunately it was much better and I have been drinking kettle one now since. What's a movie that makes you laugh? I'm not a movie person. I never have been. They're too long for me. I'll watch 17 20 minute episodes of a show back to back to back, sure, but a two hour movie? No, it's too much. <laughs> so a show that makes me laugh out loud is probably New Girl. Or the bloopers from The Office. What's usually for dinner? Well, I pick the same meal and eat it every single night until I want to vomit at the side of it. So right now it's salmon burgers with hummus and sauteed like peppers and onions on top and then a side of sliced up cucumbers. <sighs> really good, until it isn't. Do you believe in second chances? If you would have asked me this like five years ago, I would have said, no, you're dead to me. But I have done a lot of healing since then. Nature has restored itself. <laughs> oh no, I have hiccups. Oh no. Oh God. What's your idea of the perfect vacation? Chicago. <laughs> no. Yes. Wait, look at this. It's little plants that you can put together with Legos. I love it so much. I've never really been into like Lego stuff, but I'm excited. I want to do these with somebody. So I'm just saving it. I have to go to the bank before it closes, so I'm gonna take you with me and we'll answer questions on the road. What is your favorite thing in the world? See, I can't, I don't do well with like absolutes like that. Sorry. What is one thing you really love a lot? Uh, my Rubik's Cube. I really, really love my Rubik's Cube. It's something I can fidget with. Do you have a color that you prefer over other colors? My favorite color is... I thought you said you couldn't do absolutes. That's why I just asked that last question so, so weird. Uh, marigold. I would say yellow, but... It's not, it's marigold. Not all yellows are created equally. What color do you wear most often? I wear a lot of black, a lot of navy blue, a lot of gray, mostly because that's what you can buy in bulk. <laughs> like when you buy like Hanes shirts. Oh, there's this person that's turning and they're gonna think I'm crazy for just recording on a camera in a car. Oh God. Give me three words that describe living in Nebraska. Slow, minimal, just not a lot of options and friendly. I'm shocked at how friendly everyone is here. The first time I ever visited Jonas, uh, when we were still just dating long distance and I lived in Texas, we went to the grocery store and he had a full conversation with the cashier. We were walking to the car. I was like, how do you know them? He's like, what do you mean? I said, how do you know the cashier that you were talking to? And he's like, I don't know them, they're a stranger. <laughs> That like did not compute to me. Being from California, you don't talk to people. Do you like surprises? No. Unless I don't know about it, which sounds redundant. No, actually, no, I don't like surprises. <laughs> not even a little bit. What's one thing that you've had to learn the hard way? I mean, I could say a few things here. Ask more questions. <laughs> Ask more questions when you're about to sign something specifically, like a contract that's gonna require things of you for a long period of time. Ask more questions. The person next to me thinks I'm an absolute psychopath. This whole driving and vlogging thing really only works when you're driving, but when you're stopped at a light, you feel like an idiot. I can't look over and make eye contact. I'm gonna pretend that they don't exist. What's funny is they probably can't even see in my car. I'm just overthinking it a lot. Thank God. I honestly can't even make content when Jonas sees me. If Jonas were to be around me as I was filming a video, I would throw my phone across the room. It's so embarrassing. That's why I'm in my closet for most of the time I'm like filming a TikTok when I'm home. It's like the equivalent of when you want to sing for somebody when you're like five, but you tell them all to shut their eyes so that they don't look at you. That's like how I feel. Did I answer the question? Ooh, what's something that you're tired of? As I was eating my lunch, I realized I'm pretty tired of that. <laughs> Who do you turn to when you're sad? When I'm sad, I turn to Jonas, mostly. If I turn to somebody, I'm definitely turning to Jonas. Give me a trend that you would love to see disappear forever. I'd be okay if low-rise jeans went away forever, that's for sure. Also, the trend of like Gen Z's just absolutely destroy millennials for every single thing that they do. I don't love that. I really like Gen Z. I think they're so badass and I just feel really bad about myself. Every single time I see a video of them come up on my free page and they talk about things that millennials do or say or dress or eat or talk about or them existing in general. It's like, wow. So I would like that trend to be over. I'm pulling into the um, bank, so I'll see you in a little bit. What's your least favorite food? Mayo. That's not a food, but that's my, gonna be my answer. I can't, mayo and mustard is 
Oh God. All right, it's 4 p.m. on a random Saturday. What are you doing? Dinner. I actually eat dinner very early, only because I wake up so early. So my whole day is just really shifted. Bedtime with kids is really early. So uh, everything is basically just like at a 80 year old schedule. That's kind of where I live. Ideal first date? Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I talk best when I'm doing something with somebody. It's really weird, I couldn't tell. I don't do well when I'm just sitting face to face, like, okay, now tell me your entire life story. I don't, I don't do well with that. So for me, it would be going and doing something while talking. Like going on a hike would be really fun because you're not looking at each other. <laughs> Eye contact just really intimidates me. I'm, I can do it, but it's all I'm thinking about when I'm looking into your eyes. And also now I don't know where to look now because this is your eyes. What lipstick do you use? Well, I don't use a lipstick, but I can show you what I do use. I use a tinted chapstick. It's by Rel Beauty. It's in the shade, absolutely. It's really subtle, but it's just, it's the best color. I do my own makeup for events and stuff like uh, red carpets and anything that I do like that. Which sounds so pretentious to say that at like an actual event where they'd be like, do you want your glam? And I always take this stuff. And every single time I do, and I'm around a makeup artist, they're like, that is the best tinted chapstick I've ever seen. What is it? And I show them. So I love it. So I feel proud. And last question, what are you doing tomorrow? I don't know. It's Saturday tomorrow, which means it's the weekend, which means I'm home, which means I get to just have family time. So probably just spending time with my family. Well, if you've made it this far in the video, congratulations. If Vogue ever does ask me to do this in the future, which I have literally no idea why they really would, but if they do act like you saw none of this, well, they're probably gonna do different questions. Do you like how I'm planning this as if it would really happen? <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my answers as much as I enjoyed answering the questions. I'm sure I was way too long-winded, so it's pretty good that this is not actually Vogue. Not that it ever would be. I liked this. Happy snow day.